name is Eduarda and I'm a Cloud Support Associate here at the AWS Remote Support Office in Dublin. Today I'm going to show you how you can recover from a storage full condition in an Amazon RDS DB instance. So let's get started. I'm currently logged into my AWS Management Console. I'll navigate to the RDS Console. As you can see on this screen, one of my DB instances is in storage full state. I'm going to scale up the storage by allocating more space for additional data. If we select the instance, we can check on the monitoring page to see when the free storage space hit zero. When this happens, we can't write to the DB until we expand the storage size. To increase the storage size, choose Modify. Change the allocated storage from 20 GB to 40 GB. Depending on your use case, you can increase your allocated storage to 100 GB or more if required. We'll leave all the other fields as is because we're not modifying anything but the storage allocation. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, choose Apply Immediately, and then choose Modify DB Instance. As you can see, the instance in still is in storage full state and then changes into modifying state. Depending on the size of the instance and the workload, um, this change can take some time. For example, for a large DB instance with an extra large volume of a terabyte or more, this change can take several hours. Therefore, it's best practice to plan this operation on the instance maintenance window. After the scale storage operation is complete, the status of the DB instance is in storage optimization. When you see this status, the DB instance is fully operational. However, you can't make further storage modifications for either six hours or while the DB instance status is in storage optimization, whichever is longer. Keep in mind that there is no way to estimate how long your DB instance might stay in the storage optimization state or modifying state, as that status depends upon a lot of factors. For this reason, it's best practice to allocate enough storage to avoid hitting storage full again before the storage optimization is completed. When the storage optimization is complete, then the instance will be in the available status and the DB performance should return to normal. Let's go to the terminal and see if we can connect to this DB instance. So I'm connected to the DB instance now and I can run the normal queries as usual. Thanks for watching this video and happy cloud computing from us here at AWS.